Hey, YouTube. Please join me as we say congratulations to the happy couple. But I'm not throwing rice. No, I'm actually throwing cetyl alcohol, the topic of today's million dollar batch maker. Let the chemistry learning begin. Okay, so let's start with the basics and move on to the more in-depth stuff later. First, cetyl alcohol has a chemical formulation of C16H34O. Its chemical structure is like that of many other cosmetic waxes with an OH hydroxyl group on one end and a chain of carbons with a methyl group on the other end. For this reason, cetyl alcohol is classified as a fatty alcohol. Let's take a minute to explain what that is. A fatty alcohol is among other things a chemical group consisting of long chain carbon chain alcohols and characteristically the high molecular weight. Outside of cetyl alcohol, other commercially relevant fatty alcohols you have encountered include sterol alcohol, lauryl alcohol, and oleal alcohol. Now, let's finally get a look at this thing. As you can see, commercial grade cetyl alcohol is typically a white substance at room temperature. It is usually sold as a powder or flake. It is odorless, and I would advise not tasting it, but to save you the curiosity, I'll just tell you that it is bitter in taste. All the characteristics we can't detect with our natural senses. It is not soluble in water. Instead, it is soluble in alcohols and oils. Cetyl alcohol can be manufactured a number of different ways, but for economical purposes, it is typically made from the reduction of palmitic acid. Second, and you may have guessed this, but it is a naturally occurring substance in many plants and animals, humans included. Being a wax, it is naturally a very malleable substance. Here we have melted acetyl alcohol at 49.3 degrees Celsius, its melting point, and allowed it to harden in these molds. Why? Because we were bored. Now let's get really in depth about cetyl alcohol's many, many, many uses. In the cosmetics context, cetyl alcohol is typically used in lotions of various types and creams like the ones we have here, but that is far from the entire list. Cetyl alcohol is used in hair styling gel, candles, mascara, ointments, sunscreen, hair color, and that doesn't even scratch the surface. The more surprising uses, however, can be found on the industrial side. Alcohol is widely used in industrial lubricants for applications on machine parts. It is also used as liquid pool covers to reduce evaporation from pools of water, from heat loss, etc. So, the FDA has approved CETA alcohol to be used in food in limited capacity specifically as a flavoring agent and in food decorations. For instance, colorful lettering on cakes or candy can be contain cetyl alcohol. Before I go on to the second part of the video, let me first take a moment to inform you about three courses you might be interested in, all brought to you by a company I co-own, Alchemist Express. Here we have condensed years of beauty sales, marketing, manufacturing, and formulations knowledge into courses that you can check out today. The first course is Creating a Successful Beauty Brand, a marketing and branding course for those who have an idea for the beauty space and are looking to market it effectively. Another course is Manufacturing a Beauty Brand, which focuses on sourcing manufacturers for your beauty brand and making sure you find the most effective way of working with them. And lastly, we have the Preservation Course aimed at both professional and novice formulators and people who are simply curious about how preservation of cosmetics works. This preservation course teaches you everything you need to know from challenge testing to expiration dates. 
Links to all the courses are in the description below. We will also occasionally have coupon discount codes that you can enter every so often. Now, where were we? Ah, uh, yes. You may or may not know, chemists are constantly combining and recombining raw materials to come up with new ingredients. They do this often to achieve certain properties in the new materials that are not within the materials with which those new materials were created. Make sense? And acetyl alcohol is combined with a lot of stuff for exactly this same purpose. Let me show you an example. Here we have sterile alcohol. It's also a thickener and emulsifier like acetyl alcohol it gives products more thickness and a creamy texture that helps the product cling, cling to your skin. At least, at least better than acetyl alcohol. Acetyl alcohol provides more of a silky, smooth consistency. What if we could combine these two chemicals and create something properties of both acetyl and sterile alcohol? Well, we can. Acetyl alcohol plus sterile alcohol equals cetyl alcohol. An excellent emulsifier with properties from both its precursors. Once again, this is acetyl alcohol plus sterile alcohol equals cetyl alcohol. One last really important property that I'd like to discuss regarding acetyl alcohol is its importance in product coloring or product enhancement. One characteristic of acetyl alcohol in particular that sets acetyl alcohol apart from all the other chemicals in the personal care and cosmetic space. This chemical can help brighten the color of a formulation without creating a shimmery or pearlized effect. To, let's look at these two samples to get an idea of what I Both sample bottles have a green shampoo. The right bottle with a green shampoo is made with acetyl alcohol. The left bottle is a green shampoo that's made with EGMS, another color enhancing wax. If you look closely, the EG shimmery or pearlized. That's because EGMS is a pearlizing agent. When you add it to a product, it forms small crystals inside the product, creating a glitter. The acetyl alcohol sample still enhances the formulation, but it does not have a pearlizing effect at night. So if you're looking for a matte color enhancer for your product, acetyl alcohol is actually a good choice. And lastly, is it safe? I'm pleased to tell you that acetyl alcohol is very safe for a broad range of uses. Based on numerous scientific studies, the Cosmetic Ingredient Review Expert Panel, or CIR for short, certifies that acetyl alcohol is non-toxic, non-sensitizing in all cosmetic applications, and the FDA permits its use as a food additive. However, we should note that some people with sensitive skin may experience allergic reactions from acetyl alcohol use. If you are concerned about your skin's reaction to a cosmetic product, Please perform a patch test of the product on your skin before general use. Alright guys, that's all the time we have. This is MDB, until next time, keep learning.